Hello, Nuggets. Um, so, uh, I've been thinking about what I want to do next. Um, and it's a little... F I keep forgetting to fix this camera. It's wobbling. Anyway. Um, so, I made a video, I don't know, five or six videos back about a game I made called Demon Defense. Uh, or a demo I made for a game. I mean, it was a lot of work. Um, but I was really focused. I was really in the zone. I worked my ass off on it. I really enjoyed it. I had tremendous fun doing it. And a realization of if this were what I did for the rest of my life, like just literally made this game and, and made this world that I'm working in now, working from home on my game, it would be fantastic. It was very fulfilling. I was waking up early in the morning. I couldn't wait to get on the computer. I was dreaming about it. And it was. It felt very sustainable. It felt very healthy. You know, I think I was working a little bit too long on it, but it was a really enjoyable time. The thing is, I got no traction on it, right? I got just zero interest, even from friends. And I don't want to rehash the video I made, but basically just, you know, no one cared, you know. Um, so I've been thinking about what I want to do because that was one of the mo that's been one of the moments in my life where you just kind of come to a complete standstill and suddenly it's almost like a creative block. It's like, I don't know what to do now. Because I was hoping it would get a little bit of traction. I was expecting some hurdles, right? I was expecting it's not like everyone's gonna suddenly care about the game. It's not like everyone's gonna just say follow what I'm doing I realized there was going to be hurdles I didn't quite expect it to be totally silent and I think that just shocked me a little bit I'm like wow okay so I can't no one's gonna help me no one's this isn't gonna go anywhere without extra work so I put in a bit of extra work and it still didn't go anywhere and that's when I'm like wow I don't know. I have no idea what to do the problem is I have a lot of game ideas um but now I'm kind of caught in this decision-making process of I don't know what to do. Am I? Uh, do I keep going on Demon Defense even though it got zero interest? Like I can see some reasons why it didn't get interest, right? I can I can isolate what it is about the game that didn't get people interested. Um, kinda, um, and. But the problem is, the problem is, I think that those issues with the game become apparent when you play it. Like, it's really fun to play, it's enjoyable, but it may not be as unique. And it's it's an investment of time to play it. It's a, it's a tower defense game, so it's, it's difficult. You have to invest a certain amount of energy into playing it. And you're not necessarily going to invest that energy into the game because it doesn't look truly unique. It's, a, it's an experience, it's an enjoyable experience, and that's it. Whereas a lot of the games that I see successful, particularly on Reddit, the, the little indie games, they are literally pick them up and you know how to play it instantly. There's nothing to learn, there's no learning process. So the bar is a lot lower on them because you can just pick it up and play it. You know, I mean, it's right there. It's, it's very instant, instant gratification. Um, the other thing is that although the game looked good, it didn't look unique. I think it kind of looked what you would say generically good, right? Kind of like something like Diablo, the game Diablo. Like, it's good looking. Now, I mean, it's different because at the time Diablo was released, it looked amazing. But it, you compare it now and you're like, okay, it's just kind of generally good looking, but it doesn't have a unique individual stamp. It doesn't have a flair that as soon as someone sees an image of it, they're like, oh, I've got to go play that. That looks amazing. That you know, that's the thing I want. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean high quality art. It can be unique or different looking art, you know, or something in the art and the screenshots and the materials that really captures the imagination. And I don't think mine, Demon Defense, does that. Like, so when you play the game, the characters say very funny things, and so it captures my humor. But you don't know that until you play it. And my issue is no one's playing it. It's not that the game isn't any good. I don't know that yet. It's that no one's playing it. So why aren't they playing it? Why aren't they specifically saying I need to get that and download it? Now, it's up on itch.io, but no one's downloaded it from there. Well, I think 
no, it got one download. It got one download from there. And it got one piece of feedback that was, this looks great. I hope we can play it in the future. Something like that. Um, but no one's downloading it. But that's difficult because there's a lot of stuff on itch.io. It's totally possible that people aren't finding it. Um, it's in the search engine. It's update, updated through the algorithm. So you can find it now. It's just, um, you know, there's a lot of games. So there's no reason why anyone would particularly play it. So it's got to be about everything outside of that. It can't just be that people will find it. They've got to, it's got to be put in front of them. And so therefore, the content of what's put in front of them needs to immediately engage them. And I think that's where Demon Defense lets me down. And actually, I think that's true of the product no matter, even if I finish. So I have this whole design in my head of the entire game. The finished version of the game doesn't really feel for materials marketing materials that different from what we have right now so if what we have right now is not interesting people do i really want to invest 18 months um, a year six months whatever the fuck it is but probably close to six months of of hardcore work on it to get it there just to finish all of that and end up here with no one playing it no one interested okay no i don't want to do that right so do i want to make another game but now why would anyone play it it's so frustrating now it's like okay well i'm in exactly the same position and is this the challenge that people overcome is this the challenge that says no you got to have tenacity you got to drive through you got to keep going even if people don't believe in you even if you know i'm not one of those people like, the world doesn't believe me man all the naysayers no no people believe in me everyone's kind everyone's happy and loving but no one gives a shit about the work. It's not, it's not a personal flaw. It's just the way it is, right? But I don't know. Is this one of those situations where you keep fighting through? And does keep fighting through in this context mean finish the original idea and find a better way to market it? Or does it mean go to one of these new ideas that feel like they're a bit more marketable? You know, I have a, a moon farming game, which has a very strong narrative to it, which feels like me like the story feels like me the type of game feels like me it's kind of a bit like Stuart Stardew Valley if you know that uh, you must know that game it's a wonderful little game but but it has very similar feelings to um it's, it's a cross between Stardew Valley and um Silent Running if you haven't seen the movie Silent Running with Bruce Dern you have to see it. it's a great movie from the 70s 80s 70s um but it's kind of a cross between that. But it feels very me. That game feels very uniquely who I am. The kind of stories I like to tell. Um, and I can see the art style of it. And in my head, that looks unique. I'm hoping that's something you would look at and say, I want to play that. But I don't know. Maybe not. I started watching a couple of videos. And I've done some research on people who've managed to market their game well. And the, the, the worrying thing is, it seems to be just luck. It really does. It just seems to be just luck. You know, I'm not... I, there, there are ways to make sure your game is a success, but those those ways require 10 cent money, right? They, they require a huge investment to force it down people's throat to make sure that they see it and then the game becomes a success, success. For indie developers, it seems to be luck. I mean, you obviously need a good game as well, but there are tons of good games out there that have failed. And how do I avoid becoming one of them? And I need help. I need help. If I had more viewers on this channel, it would help. Because uh, you could tell me. <laughs> so if you have any ideas about how the hell to market, because I'm just lost. I don't really know what else to do with this now. Do I stick with the original idea, even though I do see why it's difficult to get people to play it, even though the game is good? Do I move on to this new idea I have? And I have another new idea. The other new idea, though, is huge scope. And I'm very aware that that's not something I should be doing. The 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 Stardew, the moon farming game um, is uh, within scope. It's something I could do. It's something I could put together reasonably quickly and could start with a really cool little cutscene and, like, some some good narrative stuff that I could put in marketing materials. I think it would look a little bit unique, right? I've already started working on some artwork just behind the scenes, so I believe it's sellable, but should I move to that or should I finish Demon Defense? I don't know. I just thought I'd make a video because it just popped into my head and I'm feeling lost. And if you're watching this, 
the the six or seven people who will watch this if you're in the industry i'd love some feedback is my dog eating my shorts then you eat my shorts let's go this way you eat my shorts Iggy. come here don't say hi to everyone come on come on come on Hi. look who's that this is my dog Iggy. who's that Iggy? look see yourself yeah you do he watches tv he loves horses you like horses yeah and uh, he likes bears and uh he recognizes tense music as well it's very interesting i've had a I don't think, oh, what's wrong, boy? Okay, he also pees a lot. He gets scared. He pees a lot. He's an alpha dog who's terrified of me for some reason. I don't know what I did wrong, but for some reason this dog is absolutely scared of me. When I walk up to him, he's like, oh, what are you doing? I don't know where it is. I've been nothing but love to him. Anyway, if you have any ideas about what game I should make, whatever, fuck it, tell me, bye.